a team that CSU felt might be the best team they play all year. And they played Richmond early on, a team from the Atlantic 10 Conference that very well may get an automatic bid without necessarily winning the A-10. CSU has had a tough schedule so far, and now they fall to five and six. Some final stats for you. Sheldon Strickland had the game of his career, seven for, I mean, most games right now are the game of the career for a freshman, but seven for seven from the three-point are 27 points for the Georgia native. Kenny Mitchell had 12 points in this game. Calvin Martin had 10. Jeremy Sexton had eight. Jamarco Warren in a big spot went quiet. Just four points for Jamarco Warren. Two of eight shooting and 0 for four from behind the three-point arc. Other scorers, Joel Lamb with two. Chris Greer with two. Johathan Brooks had four. On the other side, Jeremy Simmons, probably the player of the day for the College of Charleston with 26 points and 12 boards. A double-double for the senior. Andrew Gavlock, their star guard, had 20 points, went three for seven from behind the free throw arc, uh, beh from behind the three point arc, I should say. I, I would say it's a quiet 20 points for Andrew Gavlock, but he came up with a couple big three pointers uh, at big spots for them. Other scorers, Antoine Wiggins, the red shirt junior, had six. Willis Hall had four, the post player. Andrew Lawrence, the sophomore guard, had six. And Trent Wiedemann, the freshman forward, had five. On the glass, CSU was out-rebounded by just five, 43 to 38. A couple, uh, a hefty amount of offensive rebounds, though, for the College of Charleston. 22 provided a lot of second-chance opportunities, 26 second-chance opportunities and points for the College of Charleston. Some other key stats, points in the paint. The Cougars had 38, CSU had 30. Points off of turnover, CSU did a nice job in that category with 19 compared to 16. For a game that was probably billed as an up and down fast break kind of game, only two points apiece when it came to fast break points. CSU didn't turn the ball over uh, an egregious amount, 14 turnovers more than you want, but not standing out on the statistical category. The College of Charleston only had 11 of them. Blocks five of them for Charleston Southern, three for the College of Charleston, steals eight for CSU, Eight for the College of Charleston. Again, 77-69 the final score. College of Charleston win moves their record to eight and three. Charleston Southern goes to five and six with its next game being, I believe, next Tuesday, correct? Next Tuesday against Bluefield. That one will tip at 7.30. Some scores around the nation right now in the Big South Conference. Only one other game going on. How about an overtime thriller between Presbyterian and Jacksonville State of the Ohio Valley Conference. That has 10 seconds left in overtime. Presbyterian leads by three, 73 to 70. Other scores in the nation. Top 25 action. Baylor is a 44, 47-24 uh, leader at home. The number nine team in the nation. Number 20 team in the nation. 27 to 27. The Minnesota Gophers knock, knotted up with the Akron Zips right now. Auburn is a trailer right now, 11-5 against UCF, uh, USC, 